So what's going on, folks? We made it in from uh, job number two for the evening, and my little smoking hot wife is out shopping with her mother. So we're home with no supervision. Time to work on tractor. Old tractor. Something I just noticed, and that's awesome, is uh, old tractor's got a glass pack, so it's probably gonna sound pretty good. And two, we got a bird nest or a rat's nest. I think it's a bird's nest in there. That's got to go. Another thing too, I'm not crazy about that old radiator hose. Uh, mosquito, Florida State bird. Um, but. This evening what we're working on is this old cobbled up wiring. Got to get that going. Got to get that done. And uh, let's see. Just kind of getting the lay of the land on this thing here. Just go around. Check this other side out. It's going to be simple here. Because what we're doing is on this, we'll have to, uh, we're putting the, the electronic ignition should be in tomorrow. Today's Thursday. Uh, Amazon says it'll be here tomorrow. Probably will be. What's weird is I ordered it Tuesday, and they waited till today to ship it. All right. Whatever. Um, we'll be doing this. But see, there's no there's no ring terminal on that. And you know, I've I've done stuff that way. Um, Everybody's guilty of it, but I have the same switch. We'll have to change switches. Anyway, I'm just kind of getting a ballpark idea of what I'm going to have to do. Um, the headlights, we're going to give them a test run. Yeah, see right here. It's just kind of wired, stuck together. That's hot. Or excuse me, that is your hot wire going to the headlight and there is no tape on it you know just stuff like that one thing i wanted to show you if you look look at this brake pedal right here it's worn smooth here but you still got all the little knurlings or whatever you want to call them the grip around here and then uh you look up in there now nah, maybe the Maybe the other side will be better for that. Hang on. If you look here, at this uh, pin where your front axle rides on it, there's not a whole lot of wear there. And then look at the brake pedals, which I know on these old tractors, the brakes aren't used, you know, like, like mad, but they have no wear no wear on them at all and the really interesting part after you see all of that i don't know if this works yet because i have yet to hear this tractor run we've only done a compression test but um your hour meter right there saying 860 hours and uh, I don't know that that's going to be right, but this is a much lower hour than, machine than mine. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's old Ernest. Ernest lived a hard life. I hope there's enough light you can see. See that pedal's worn smooth, just a little bit of your grippies out here. It's worn smooth and actually it's been broke and welded. Some, I guess you'll call that a weld. I don't call it a weld, but whatever. So you got that. Brake pedals have wear right here and there. And then, uh, I don't know. This one actually looks way better than I thought it would. I don't know, let me turn. Turn a little bit of light on the subject here. Yeah, it's got uh, it's got some wear in there on that, but not bad. 
but just uh, there's a lot of stuff on my machine that's not as worn as that one. I mean, it looks kind of kind of rough just sitting there, but really, the only thing that I noticed on this tractor is a little bit of rust right there. Yeah, maybe you can see that right there. And it's not even rusted through on this side. This this tractor is a perfect candidate for a full-on restoration. I can't wait to hear it run. I'm really excited about that. But, uh, dang, I wish I could make out what that used to say. Maybe somebody that has had some of these tractors will know what that used to say, and who knows, it could be something that the previous owner put on, I don't know. But, enough stalling. Let's, um, Oh, 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 low hour. This, uh, these arms right here, a lot of times they'll be broke. Now there is some wear right up in there. And on this one, I get that. But this tractor does not have, it doesn't have a pile of hours on it. But anyway, enough of me harping about that. I'm going to go get some wiring stuff out, and we're going to start snatching wires off of this thing. plugs um, excuse me they're autocraft 216s if you do a little bit of googling you'll understand why that is important uh, for the different gear model tractors to have the right plug in there because they have the right amount of resistance that being said this is supposed to be the right plug for this tractor it's what's in mind this tractor is identical to mine and mine runs great on them uh, secondly we have the cap off of the distributor uh, the cap, the excuse me, the distributor cap, the rotor button, and the dust cap cover. This is the plate that the points bolt to, and you take your points and condenser out, 
and I'm sorry I didn't document that there's some other great YouTube videos about taking that part out but uh, from I'll, I'll have my camera going from here on out um, the next thing we're going to do is put in um, that plate and then we will be putting in the igniter electronic ignition so give me just a sec and we'll catch y'all up on that okay so what we've got here here is the igniter module I was just mentioning and what you do where your wire right here from your coil would go over to the old stud that brought your fire in through here and to your points all right what we're doing you take the stud out and you route your black and red wires through there once they're through it's a nice very nice system um, let me get it turned there we go you have C and CC clockwise whoop, whoop clockwise and counterclockwise this one turns clockwise the engine turns clockwise so right there you see I am lined up with my clockwise hole okay so nice. that's the next part a couple of new screws that come with it boom and the other misplacing things in plain freaking sight there it is uh, i'm making sure i did yeah i snugged the adapter or excuse me the points plate down now we'll run these two screws in and what i have come across is a lot of times these screw holes that we're utilizing here will be stripped out from years of having points changed so you may end up having to get a little bit bigger screw. That one tightened up. Okay, now, we're going to adjust our grommet out and get through there. There we go. It's pulled in now our magnet and see it has a place for the cams to ride and it should slide right down on it just like that you're done inside the distributor and I want to show you too with this tune-up kit we got this new clip right here and what that does is it keeps this opening it keeps your rotor button tight also note you'll probably see you should see it whenever you're taking it off these words written right here align with oiler this is an oiler right here that you put a few drops of oil in to keep your distributor oiled the top side of it all right so you align with the oiler get your clip on align this distributor cap distributor cap this rotor button <clears throat> and that is that all right and now we have a new distributor cap all right and we have the new distributor cap in place clips are on now it's time for a little plug wire action. <laughs> 